Dearly beloved, we are gathered in the presence of God and of this company that Gabriel and Brianna may be united in holy matrimony. We are here to celebrate and share in this glorious act that God is about to perform. The act by which he converts their love for one another into the holy and sacred estate of marriage. This relationship is an honorable and sacred one, established by our Creator for the welfare and happiness of mankind, and approved by the Apostle Paul as honorable among all men. It is designed to, to unite two sympathies and hopes into one, and it rests upon the mutual confidence and devotion of husband and wife. May it have been extreme thoughtfulness and reverence and dependence upon divine guidance that you enter now into this holy relationship. Being assured that your love and your choice of each other as lifelong companions are in God's will and that you have your family's blessing, I now ask, who gives this woman to be married to this man?
Okay, I can hold hands a little bit. The Apostle Paul compared the relationship between husband and wife to the relationship between Christ and the church. Marriage is a decision of two individuals to share the same type of pure Christian love described by the Apostle Paul. Gabriel and Brianna loved us three things, highlighted, acknowledged one love for one another, ability to overcome adversity, and love assures. It's like a great insurance policy. Its benefits include, according to 1 Corinthians 13 and 4 through 8, that love is patient, love is kind, Love does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but love rejoices with the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Gabriel and Brianna, love never fails. Love always allows you to examine yourself, that you can be the apple of God's eye and the apple of your spouse's eye. Love positions you to elevate, elevate your words, your works, and your witness to one another. Love allows you to go higher, higher in your thoughts. Love opens the door for positive equity, that you may be rich in mercy, rich in grace. For the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus has come that you may have life and that you may have life more abundantly. This kind of love enriches each part of life and marriage. Two lives shared with this kind of love can hold more fulfillment and happiness than either life alone. Gabriel, are you ready to enter into this marriage with Brianna, believing the love you share? and your faith in each other will endure all things. I am. I am. Brianna, are you ready to enter into this marriage with Gabriel, believing the love you share and your faith in each other will endure all things? I am. To my best friend, I stand before you so excited about what's to come. Over the years, we have grown so much individually, but still managed to grow together as well. I thank you for trusting the process and never giving up on us. Although it hasn't been easy with the distance and our careers pulling us in different directions, one thing that has always remained the same was the love. I thank you for always being a gentleman, for holding me together when I'm overwhelmed in life, for being patient, for covering me with prayer and protecting my heart. I'm truly grateful that God has ordered my steps and allowed me to experience a love as pure as the love that you have given to me. There's a lot of things that people don't know but you've been there for me through my darkest hours without passing judgment. I just want you to know that your efforts don't go unnoticed and that I plan to spend every day for the rest of my life showing you just how much I appreciate and love you. I know sometimes I can be a lot, well, practically all the time, <laughs> but I thank you for allowing me to be me unapologetically. As we embark upon this new journey, I want you to know that I promise to keep your heart safe and be your peace I promise to follow your lead under the divine orders that you are given in life. I promise to respect you and give you all of me. So let's do it forever. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Everyone has been asking me if I'm getting cold feet, and I keep responding no. I couldn't figure out why, but then it hit me. I haven't gotten cold feet because I feel my warmest when I'm with you. You are my best friend, my joy, and my strength. I cannot say that you are my peace yet, but you are getting there. <laughs> I can say that I am my best self when I'm with you. They say as a married man that your life is not over, but I know that my life truly began when I first saw you on an elevator in 2015 and decided that I just had to have your number. Although I didn't know then that I would be standing here today I knew that you would be a special part of my life. I know standing here today that I can truly say that you were meant for me and I'm meant for you. I promise today in front of God, you, our family and friends to cherish you and your opinions. 
I promise to be patient, loving, kind, and forgiving. I promise to be worthy of your heart while trusting you with mine. I promise to lead you and our family and build the foundation that God has set for our lives. And most importantly, I promise to one day allow you to come home and not have to work, even though that may be at 65. <laughs> <laughs> Let us pray. Father in heaven, you've ordained marriage for your children, and you gave us love. We present to you Gabriel and Brianna, who come this day to be married. May the covenant of love they make be blessed with true devotion and spiritual commitment. We ask that you, God, will give them the ability to keep the covenant they have made. When selfishness shows itself, grant generosity. When mistrust is a temptation, give more strength. When there is misunderstandings, give patience and gentleness. If suffering becomes a part of their lives, give them a strong faith and an abiding love. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. May I have the ring? <laughs> From the earliest of times, the circle of the wedding band has been a symbol of wedded love. Your rings are made to remind you to keep your love pure, being one unbroken circle. Your rings symbolize unending love, and may your rings be a constant reminder of this high moment which you have pledged your unending love to one another. The wedding ring is the outward and visible symbol of an inward and spiritual bond which unites two loyal hearts in endless love. It is a seal of vows that Gabriel and Brianna will make to one another today. Our loving God, we ask your blessing upon these rings <laughs> that they may be constant symbols of the unending love which binds Gabriel and Brianna together as a bond, a pledge, let these rings encircle their fingers as their love does their hearts. With love we say, amen. amen. Gabriel, repeat after me. I, Gabriel. I, Gabriel. Give you, Brianna. Give you, Brianna. This ring. This ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of God. In the name of God. You will put the ring on. Abriana, I, Brianna, give you Gabriel, give you Gabriel this, ring, this ring as a symbol, as a symbol of, my vow, of my vow with all that I am and all that I have. I honor you in the name of God. In the name of God. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm prepared to light the um, lunatic candles. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, the two outside candles have been lit to, to represent both lives in this moment. They are two distinct lights, each capable of going their separate ways. And as you join now in marriage, there's a merging of these two lights into one. This is what the Lord meant when he said, on this account, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall be one flesh. From now on, your thoughts shall be for each other rather than your individual selves. Your plan shall be mutual. Your joys and sorrows should be shared alike. As you each take a candle together, light the center one, and you will extinguish your own candles, thus letting the center candle represent the union of your lives into one flesh. As this light cannot be divided, neither shall your lives be divided, but a united testimony in a Christian home. May the radiance of this light be a testimony of your unity in the Lord Jesus Christ. If 
I can invite you to pray, pray the Lord's the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Gabriel and Brianna, may you always mirror love in each other's eyes. May you rise together on the wings of acceptance and recognize the divinity with each other. Honor, respect, nurture the dreams and wishes. Be ever mindful of God working through you that in time will guide you to reveal your true nature. May you remain positive in times of adversity. And in these times, realize and grow together. Know that your relationship is based on complete love and acceptance. Use this as a model for your relationship, both within and against the invading outside world. Remember to look to the Lord, and this will continue to deepen your understanding of love through your years together. I speak peace. I speak joy. Uh, I speak happiness. I speak blessings and favor. May it rest upon your life. As you join together, know that you're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the field. You're blessed in your coming, and you're blessed in your going. I bind the work of the enemy that it would come and bring a sense of division and confusion. But I pray that you grow together in grace, grow together in love, knowing that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And if God is before you, he's more than the world against you. Our loving Father, we know that you are the witness of every marriage and the sealer of every spiritual union. We give thanks knowing that it's your love and light that fills the hearts and minds of Gabriel and Brianna. They have pledged their love and vowed their commitment to one another on this wedding day. Grant that they may be true and loving to each other, living in such a way as to bring peace and joy into their lives and to their family and friends who support them. With your love and concern throughout their life together, may you continuously rejoice with them just as you do today. Bless this their wedding day and may they always be aware of your abiding love through their life together. We ask these in all things in the name of Jesus our Lord, amen. amen. Gabriel and Brianna, you have declared your commitment to each other before your family and God. It gives me the greatest of pleasure uh, to pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> I didn't do that part yet. Oh. <laughs> So, redo, redo. So hold, hold, hold up. <laughs> they supposed to say, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel Graves, you may uh, salute your bride. <laughs> As they prepare to jump the broom. It is with the greatest of pleasure that I introduce for you for the very first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Gabriel Graves. Yeah. 